HP Elite Dragonfly first flitted onto the premium business convertible laptop scene in 2019 as an impressive, attractive competitor to the likes of Lenovo's ThinkPad and Dell's XPS 13. After last year's Dragonfly Max added a higher price 5G capable option, HP is back with its third gen Elite Dragonfly G3. This latest Dragonfly ditches the convertible fold over hinge of previous models in favor of a more traditional clamshell design and a nice productivity friendly 3. 2 display that's bright enough to use in most environments at 50% without it feeling too damn. The Dragonfly G3 starts at just 2.19 pounds, while still feeling rigid and road-ready. And despite its slim 0.64-inch profile, HP manages to squeeze in more useful ports than the competition, including two Thunderbolt 4 ports, a USB type of port with a drop-down hinge and even full-size HDMI. Its keyboard is also quite satisfying for a super slim ultra-portable, Design. HP sent us its latest Dragonfly in its slate blue colorway, which is a bit more toned down hue than previous models, appearing gray in some photos and lighting conditions. But in direct sunlight, it's still a pretty blue that helps it stand out in the premium laptop stack. For those who want to blend in a bit more, it will also be available in natural silver. Personally, I strongly prefer the cell blue here. The magnesium and aluminum frame feels solid despite the slim and light design, and the blue finish adds some flash to what is otherwise an attractive but plain exterior. This is a business laptop, after all. HP Modern, mirrored logo adorns the lid, with Dragonfly written in silver below the left corner of the keyboard, as well as on the back edge of the hinge where it can only be seen when the laptop is closed. Bang in, Alson branding sits above the dedicated power button in the function row. And spoilers, the audio sounds great for an ultra portable. More on that later. Productivity Performance Our review configuration of the HP Elite Dragonfly G3 came equipped with an Intel Core i7 1265U CPU, 16GB of DDR5 RAM, and a 512GB SSD. The U-Series CPU is an interesting choice when competitors like the Dell XPS 13 Plus and Lenovo's Yobin 9i Gen 7 are opting for higher power Intel P-Series CPU. We'll see shortly how that lands when it comes to performance but I will say that the HP Elite Dragonfly G3 is extremely quiet. On Geekbench 5, an overall performance test with an emphasis on the CPU, the Dragonfly posted a single-core score of 1,647 and a multi-core score of 6,501. That's pretty close to the competition on the single-core test, but the Dell XPS 13 and its P-Series CPU did noticeably better, with a score of 1,797, and everything else in our comparison group did better than the HP on the multi-core test with the Dell again coming in first with a score of 10,621. Display HP offers the 13.5-inch, 3, 2 display on the Dragonfly G3 in two different resolutions and four configurations, whether you want touch, the company SureView Active Privacy Filter, or OLED. HP sent our review unit with a 1920x1280 non-touch panel that's rated to 400 nits of brightness. Anecdotally, it looks great getting bright enough that I could leave it at 50% brightness unless I was sitting in direct sunlight. And there was plenty of color and dark detail as I watched the 11th episode of The Sandman on Netflix. But with its tall to 3, 2 aspect ratio, it's in productivity tasks that this display really shows its advantage, keeping more cells on the screen in programs like Excel. This means less scrolling when I was working out the averages in our Cinebench stress testing. Keyboard and touch chat. As far as 2 pound ultra portables go, the keyboard on HP Elite Dragonfly G3 is very good. The keys are flat, but well-spaced and big enough not to hinder typing for the most part. The up slash down arrow keys are half height and squished between the left slash right keys. And the function row up top is still tiny. The latter isn't a huge deal, but there is obviously more space on the keyboard deck for taller keys, which puts a slight ting in the whole ultra premium, no compromises vibe. The company has obviously put some thought into that top row, though. The F12 key is customizable, while the key to the right activates a physical shutter for the webcam. And one key over from that is a dedicated power button, just to the left of the delete key in the right corner. In case you're worried about the power button placement, I never accidentally put the laptop to sleep while typing. The power button is stiffer than the rest of the keys, and a quick press like you might make while typing isn't registered by the laptop anyway. So the power button is fairly fumble-proof. I hope you found this video helpful. It's my pleasure if you were helped a little at least. If you have anything to query for, please come ask below. Thank you for watching this video.